So, today, I'll be imaging the Rosette Nebula, yes. So, it will be, it's just about clear, so maybe almost in a bit clear so the tree line there. Um, so I'll be ready to like do my polar alignment and focusing and all that. And I think I have maybe, ooh, some six hours something. So hopefully I got to like somewhere past 12 o'clock uh, to image, maybe two o'clock. I'm lucky, there's a tree there as well. Ah, yes, so this is the first clear night in months, it feels like. Yeah, uh, it's pretty clear, wind free, so yeah. Uh, that's it. That's why it feels a little bit sad that the Rosette Nebula is still behind the tree line. Yeah, because we're talking about maybe at least an hour until I can... Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll just change my plans here. Uh, so we'll see. If whatever I do, I will stay in this region of the sky. So I think that I will keep my orientation with the OTA here. I'm just trying to plan for how I should have my power cable. <clears throat> yeah. If I'm going that way, I want to have the power cable uh, this way, exactly like I had it. Because then I'll basically change that up. No. That way. Yes? That's right. And the question is, should I have it here like I've been having it? Or should I actually go down here? <clears throat> Yeah. I just think I'm just gonna go down to this one. So that's it. Up and running. I'm just gonna connect this up because I have an extra uh, Wi-Fi router there. So or extender. So that's it. Duck business. Yeah. All right, so we have just finished an evening on the Rosette Nebula. Uh, it went okay, maybe. <clears throat> we'll take a look at the images. I'm not too impressed by guiding, etc. Don't know what's went on. It's been fairly calm and clear and all that, so it should be good, but don't know. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, I am just now imaging the ground or the wall there exact so uh, I'm now going to take flats just to not to screw them up We are processing the Rosette Nebula here in PixInsight. Uh, it's an extremely competent tool, but uh, I'm still learning, and I think I will be learning it for the next coming years. So here is the Rosette, ne Rosette Nebula. Um, it's just been slightly processed, like background extraction, color calibration, a little bit like that, yeah. And there's a lot of stars in here, yeah. and. Even though they do belong in the picture, they they kind of take over, so we want to get rid of them. And in PixInsight, there is an um, like a plugin called uh, or a module called uh, StarNet 2. Yes, <clears throat> very good at removing stars from the image. Let's take a look at that. There, look at it. <clears throat> that is crazy. Yeah, isn't it? Very noisy here, but it, yeah, all the stars moved from that previous image to this and we split it up yeah it's just amazing and look at the nebula yeah amazing now you do see like the dark field here in the <clears throat> in the background of the nebula it's like we got this blemishes like i guess that's from where the star has been uh, <clears throat> removed yeah but the thought here is that we'll uh, uh, process this part the 
uh, the nebula yeah stretch it and work with it so we don't do the same thing to the stars yeah because otherwise they'll just be blown out and and yeah <clears throat> so we can work on the nebula separately and then we can work on the stars and reduce them slightly maybe work on colors i'm not really an expert on that either so we'll see what we get with this uh but anyway my target is to reduce the stars a bit so that they don't take over the image when i stretch it yeah and i also did a little test just to take that star field and then just <clears throat> reduce that slightly and it came to this uh compare it yeah basically i just reduced every all these little red stars in the background <clears throat> just to have like the main ones didn't really we'll take a look at how it looks uh, here in a bit so here it is and what we're gonna do now take a look at when we combine them up again and what we can see is um, this is the nebula here and I've stretched this out yeah and now looking at this I want you to ask yourself does this look like a pretty flower or something completely different yeah let's look at completely different yeah what does that look like does that look like a flower to you no sir ma'am it does not look like a flower at all look at these sockets the eye sockets of the skull and you have this like you have the nose here and the nose bone inside here separating it yeah uh, it's you have the 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 fractures in the skull it's like even a twinkle in its eye here although it's missing but it's twinkle isn't it yeah yeah <clears throat> crazy i mean if you could pick this flower out you've got some some killer flowers or you've been picking it from a grave and you've been digging deep because then it's grandpa's old skull that you have here yeah anyway so <clears throat> let's move on uh so i just did some like um using pixel math i uh added the stars back in so i added the star field like we just looked at here uh, and it, yeah I need to work on them and looking at these stars where I the field where I've reduced them <clears throat> uh, like this field I guess I'm still not super satisfied it just it's too little of it and I have to work away the blemishes maybe I don't know I wasn't really happy with that <laughs> I'm sure picks inside is really good ways what I really want to do is to <clears throat> because the stars are very blown out yeah, so they're all white and then have like a colored halo around them. So I would like to just reduce the stars and then get the color <clears throat> from the halo into the stars. I don't know if you can do that. I'm sure you can, but I can't yet. So let's see if I can can figure that out some point here, and then I'll make a little maybe a little short video on on on, on an update. But <clears throat> anyway, so I went to the tool that I do have that I have been using before PixInsight, and that was GIMP. Yes, free software like a uh, Photoshop version uh, not as it, I would actually say it's a little bit more user friendly than PixInsight but less user friendly than Photoshop I guess and I think it's it missing a few things as well though so anyway <clears throat> let's uh, let's take a look at my 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 current image of the the skull or grandpa's old skull nebula <laughs> yes look at it you have the stars in here or the whole nebula in here i kind of like it yeah i i like how it comes out actually i've been uh, noise reducing it and sharpening it and, and all that like crazy in in topaz uh but anyway i do really like how it, how it came up from that noisy first picture that we had you did it where was it here it was yeah super noisy but yeah and the, the the stars that was basically my first image this one that i pretty much just uh, uh like uh, opacity stacked on top of this and i like actually how it turned out it, it's maybe it's not the best you still don't have the colors of them but you still have but it, it they come in the background yeah they don't take everything over they do need to be there the stars you know they belong in there but it's like the nebula is in front of everything and the universe of stars is is just you know in the background 
doing its thing and we can just enjoy the nebula and, and know that the stars are there yeah i like how that came out uh, i'm sure i'm gonna repross this when i get um more data on it this was like uh, an hour each color so um yeah some more would absolutely benefit but yeah that's it grandpa soul skull nebula